I mean, it's a lot of help, obviously, for the forthcoming track season. Athletics is, although it's obviously at a certain level, it's quite a cheap sport. All you need is a pair of trainers and, and some running clothes. But um, when you, once you get to a certain level, trying to find races is, is really sort of tough. Um, there isn't much, to be honest, within Scotland. So it's always travelling down to England and, and abroad as well. Um, and so all the sort of travel ends up, all that amounts to a certain... Uh, yeah. A certain figure, and obviously that's quite hard to fund. Along with doing, obviously I'm at university, I've got a part-time job, and and so it's stuff like this just it, it sort of makes things a lot easier for me, and um, allows me to sort of be almost a full-time athlete. And um, obviously I'm still getting doing the university, so I can have a degree, but um, it still does it does a massive massive help. Yeah, I mean it's perfect for me because literally I live off of water. I don't drink. Um, tea, coffee, alcohol, fizzy drinks, I don't even drink sports drinks, the only thing I drink is water to be honest. Um, so, I mean it's, it's perfect, it's match made really for me. Um, I mean, I've worked really, really hard over the winter months and so I'm a lot fitter than I was at this point last year and I think that is due to just, I've done everything right, I've done anything that I possibly could right um, and made sure that eating and sleeping and recovery has been perfect. Um, and so I'm really, really looking forward to this season because I think um, I'm in better shape than I was last year. And so even after having that injury, I think um, I'm really, really looking forward to it. I work in um, a little running shop actually, and so we have like a, a little running community that meet and go out for runs together. Um, and the longest they run is 5k, um, but they're so into it and they, they absolutely love it. Um, they're worse than me for buying all the top gear that they could possibly have, they think it's going to make them run that like extra 0 0.5 seconds quicker. Um, but I mean they absolutely love it and um, it's nice having people that, I've never really noticed how many people actually do enjoy running, because so obviously I've been brought up with the elite side of sport my whole life and my, both my parents, so sort of working there and obviously working with McBee as well, you realise how many people actually do just have an interest in going out and keeping fit um, and obviously it's a great thing to be involved with. And any words of advice or support for anybody who wants to think about taking up running? Um, I think everyone's got to start somewhere, so although obviously it's your first couple of runs aren't, aren't going to be the nicest, right. um, it was the same for me coming back from injury. Um, obviously I went from two weeks of not walking at all and then trying to learn how to walk again with my new foot and then starting back, the first couple of runs you do it, you think, that is it, I'm not doing it ever again. Right. Um, Everything, it's just tough, you're late. the next day you can hardly walk, you're struggling to breathe, but it gets better, it does get so much easier. If you keep consistently doing it, every couple of days going out and trying to say the first day you can only run half a mile, the next day you go and try and run three quarters of a mile and they build it up very, very slowly. Um, it, it then gets enjoyable because you can see the improvements and you see the progress and you see it's getting easier as well. Um, so I mean, it's a great thing to be involved with. And um, if you've got any tips or hints from, from an elite athlete, anything that you could pass on to normal everyday runners that they can be doing? Um, I don't know really. I suppose just sort of standard things like eating healthily. Like eating healthily had a huge, huge impact on my tr right. season last year. Right. Um, I used to sort of live like a student in, <laughs> off of takeaway meals and yeah. ready meals and, and microwave everything, whereas last year I just completely changed that. and. Yeah. Um, and it's had a huge, huge effect. Same with, I don't drink tea, as, as I said earlier, I don't drink tea, coffee, fizzy drinks, I cut all that out. Yeah. Um, and I only drink water and it has made such a huge, huge difference. Yeah. Um, my training times have just improved massively over, yeah. over the past year. And do you ever get days that you don't feel like doing it? Or do you always want to do it? Um, for a split second, there will always be in the morning when it's absolutely freezing, you don't want to go outside. Okay. But at the end of the day, I know, I'm a bit OCD with it. I have to. Yeah. I have to do it. Yeah. Um, if I didn't do it, I'd feel like yeah. other people were getting a one-up, or I don't know. I have. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's like a religious thing. I just do it every single day, and that's that's the way. And I've done it for so long now that it's just part of your routine. Yeah. It would feel weird to me if I didn't do it. Yeah. Um, and I think that's just the way. I obviously, I've been brought up as well. I've had. It's been a bit different for me. I've seen my mum and dad mm -hmm. go out for double day, like running twice a day every single day since I was really, really little. Yeah. And so for me, I thought that was sort of a normal yeah. 
that was their job really. Um, so I think it's a bit different for me growing up through that because now I think this is normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but it's something that I really, really enjoy doing so I'm going to keep at it.